Hello, uh, this is Carl here uh, for ProBuilder. I was asked on the forums how to um, assign face materials via code, and specifically for an object that has a large number of faces. Um, so I figured I'd do a quick video tutorial on how to do that. Um, I'm going to be figuring this out as I go, so please bear with me as I work through this. So um, I've created a cube and blender uh, and beveled the edges so there are a non-trivial amount of faces and I'll just drag that into Unity here. Um, apparently Blender doesn't pass normals in their OBJs. Interesting. Either way, um, ProBuilder can generate those for us anyways. Uh, so I'm going to center off the object. Um, this is the OBJ from Blender. To turn this into something ProBuilder can work with, we need to ProBuilderize it, so just like you normally would. And that creates a copy. So now we have a ProBuilder object we can edit. Um, and you can see it didn't do a very good job of preserving the faces, which I'm guessing is because Blender does not export normals, which is how ProBuilder decides what faces to keep. Um, fortunately, I, it's pretty easy to write a script to fix that. Um, which I've done. So, merging faces, now these can be treated as a single face, which we'll need for our script later. Um, I think that I didn't UV this, so we'll have to generate UVs as well. Um, so let me just go ahead and finish merging these faces. I'll just do a couple so we can get the idea and move on. Okay, so that's that's good enough. Um, let's check in the UV editor and see if, yes, my assumptions were correct. They did not, in fact, generate UVs. Okay, easy enough. Uh, box project them. So now we have normal looking UVs. Excellent. Okay. Um, I guess I could check the normals. Um, they are, as expected, all over the place and hard. Um, Maybe if you know more about Blender, you can share those normals and make this look a little less um, facetized, I suppose is the word. Uh, either way, not important for this. <laughs> so um, now that we have this uh, ProBuilder object, we can start manipulating it in code. Um, so let's create a script to do just that. Um, set face materials. So you have your standard script. Um, I'm going to create a class for this because I think that's the easiest way to store this information. Basically what we want to get out of um, the user is we're going to need a, uh, an index for the face and what material to apply to it. So face material um, Assignments. You're probably a better namer than I am, so you can come up with your own names for these. This is off the top of my head. So index, um, and that is index of the face in pb.faces, which is the array that stores all of the face information, um, and the material force that we'll assign. Um, so once we know what those face indices are, and what materials we want to assign to them, it's as easy as just looping through and assigning them. So uh, PB object is the core class that handles all the geometry, so we need to get a reference to that. Um, so then for each um, face material assignments, face in, uh, I forgot to make the array, but so we'll, we'll just call that like face material list or something like that. Oops, not right. That's a little more right. Okay, so this is the list of um, the faces and indices that we'll assign them to. So pb.setFaceMaterial.index 
and face.material. So this is a call to ProMotor um, that tells it to set the face at index index to material. And this handles rebuilding the mesh for you, so you don't need to worry about um, figuring out how to re-triangulate it with the sub-meshes that all match the material, etc. It's all done for you. Um, so that was fairly straightforward, actually. Um, I might have forgotten to include ProBuilder Common or something to that effect. What is it complaining about? Oh, it wants a list of... or a... Hmm. That's not right. There totally is an overload for a single index. Well, shenanigans. Um, just for now. Oh, you know what it is? It's that we didn't reference it in the array. So there, that's that's what it wants. Uh, my apologies, that was a silly mistake. Okay, moving on. So now we've got this array set up um, and the script is all set to assign materials to indices. Um, we need to figure out what those indices actually are. Um, so that's the tricky part, except well, it's not actually tricky. It's just tricky if you don't have the right tools to do it. Um, so, fortunately, we have this ProBuilder debug window over here that, among other things, will tell you the indices of the faces you have currently selected, which is pretty handy. Um, and I'll post this, this tool um, along with this blog post, or not blog post, Forum post, I suppose is the word. Um, so pop into element mode, select the face, and over here, faces tells us that we have index 182 selected. So 182, let's make that material uh, no draw. Ditto for this face, um, that's face 183, how convenient. Uh, that will be the ProBuilder banner, and this face is 184. Wow! When things go right like this, it makes me think that something's wrong. Um, hopefully not, though. Let's let's go with not. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Excellent. Um, let's try it. That should do it. Yeah, there you go. Um, so that is how you would go through and apply faces individually via code um, with ProBuilder. And feel free to ask me any questions on the forums or probably not on YouTube. I won't look at YouTube, to be frank. Um, check out the forums. Uh, and I'll post a link to that in this description as well.